Hello viewers. Today we are going to discuss the methods of determining equivalent resistance of some difficult circuits. Actually we have various methods to determine equivalent resistance. First method is method of successive reduction. The first method name is method of successive reduction. This method is suitable when we are able to identify whether the resistors are in series or parallel combination. Again I am repeating, the method is only useful when you are able to identify resistors are either in series or parallel. Okay. See this method depends on the successive reduction of the circuit. Means slowly circuit is reduced from one end to other end. Okay. Let us discuss that method using the circuit drawn at the board. Okay. Now, in this circuit, we have many resistors of different resistance like R, 2R. They are connected between point A and B. My intention is to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. Okay. We are going to start this solving of this circuit from one end. See if you see this end, the resistors R and R, these two resistors I am going to show in the dotted lines, these two resistors are connected in series. That's why these two resistors can be replaced by the effective resistance or equivalent resistance of R and R. When two resistors are connected in series, the equivalent resistance formula R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2. What is R1 here? Resistance of one resistor, R2 second resistor. See, the equivalent resistance of R and R is R plus R, which is 2R. Okay, this 2R is replaced between these two points because R and R are connected in series now. So the effect equivalent resistance of these two is 2R. 2R is found, found in parallel with another 2R. Okay students? So equivalent resistance of these two resistors 2R is combined with another 2R in parallel combination that is I am going to show in the next diagram see this 2R is placed here this 2R is in parallel with another 2R observe these two again from this end again 2R and 2R are in parallel combination. That's why equivalent resistance of these two resistors we will find here equivalent resistance of 2R and 2R. Actually how to find the parallel combination of two resistors? Equivalent resistance is R1 into R2 by R1 plus R2. Here R1 is 2R. Second resistor is also having 2R. That's why 2R into 2R by 2R plus 2R. Okay. So the final answer is 4R square by 4R. R square gets cancelled. 4, 4 cancelled. So what is the equivalent resistance of 2R and 2R in parallel combination? R. So these two resistors are replaced by their equivalent resistance which is R. Okay, 2R and 2R parallel combination resistance is R. Equivalent resistance of 2R and 2R is R, which is in series with the next resistor R. This thing I'm going to show in the next diagram. The equivalent resistance of these two is R. 
replacing 2R into 2R here. Again, observe here, two more resistors, R and R are connected in a series combination. Again, same thing will happen. In the dotted lines, R and 2R, R and R are there now, these two are in series. The effective resi resistance again will get a 2R. This is in parallel with another 2R resistance. That's why what answer will get? If two resistors are in parallel combination, the effective resistance becomes R. Means up to these two points, the equivalent resistance becomes R. This is shown in the next diagram. Okay. These two resistors are replaced with a resistor R which is the equivalent resistance of R, R and 2R. Okay. Again observe here. We identify that R and R are in series combination. That's why what is the equivalent resistance of these two? R plus R which is equal to 2R. Again this 2R is in, this 2R is in parallel with the 2R. So next step, what will we get? The equivalent resistance of these two, again R. So between A and B here, what we have? One resistor R. And this resistor again, I'm taking here, which is R. The equivalent resistance of these resistors again, what will we get? R. Finally, between A and B, only three resistors left okay again R and R are in series combination the equivalent resistance of these two is again 2R this 2R is in parallel with R that's why the final answer means the final equivalent resistance between A and B is 2R into R by 2R plus R the final diagram only two resistors left one is 2R, another is R, they are connected in parallel, that's why the equivalent resistance between A and B is 2R into R by 2R plus R, so the final answer is 2R square by 3R, so what is the final answer? 2R by 3, which is the equivalent resistance between any two points or A and B. In this way, the circuit is reduced successively and finally we got effective resistance between points A and B which is 2R by 3.